everybody, welcome to another week here in Ireland and I was almost not going to do a video this week because I feel like we haven't really done much. Um, Sam's working now um, so he's gone for a few days every week um, and then I don't have a car so I'm kind of stuck here with the kids, just me and the kids. So I what I've, I've been getting on a little bit with um, cutting the ivy off the trees which was something that I knew needed doing but I can only get to a certain height but anyway I'll talk about that in a minute you'll see my little bit of a footage on that bit um, Sam has started cladding the static he's doing really good but obviously he has to do that in between the rain and work commitments now and He's installing us a new diesel heater, so obviously we were lent one by from David, which was great, but we wanted the one with the four pipes so we could run a pipe into the bedrooms individually, because at the minute it just jets the heat into the into the hallway at the back of the static and not into the bedrooms, and we really need it in the bedrooms because the kids like to shut the doors. Um, so that is what Sam's doing at the moment. And the stove, the log burner, we have got it. It's outside the static at the moment, but we've had to order all the other bits like the flue and all that kind of stuff that has to go with it. So, yeah, that's on its way. So, and I have to say a huge thank you because the reason we can order those things and get the cladding done and the insulation and buy all these things is from money that we're now earning off YouTube and also for uh, to everybody who's kindly done the buy me a coffee thing or sent money via PayPal and supported us it's just so generous and so kind and we feel really overwhelmed actually that people have done that so thanks everybody that's done that it's really really great and it's meant that we can um, do a few things that perhaps we wouldn't have been able to do before. Um, Sam's working is great, but it only sort of covers the cost of running a car and the cost of food and things like that. So that extra money coming in now, so from you guys watching us on YouTube as well, is meaning that we can hopefully get a stove in into the static. We've bought a diesel heater so we can give David his back and we have a uh, hopefully soon enough a roof on the static and some cladding and some insulation to keep all that heat that we're now creating in because yeah otherwise it would all just escape and it just be pointless exercise but yeah so hopefully this video this week it's got a few things in but I don't know I've never looked at the foot I can't remember what I filmed but in my head I'm thinking oh it's gonna be a bit boring this week because not much has happened but maybe when I edit it there might be a bit more than what I remember but we'll see some weeks I guess you know you do more than others so anyway hope you enjoy it and thanks again for watching us supporting us and to those that have donated really kind thank you guys it's time to build the deck while the sun's come out take advantage of our solar panels but we're going to build this deck here today we are going out this afternoon so <laughs> I'm working quite quick 4b2 into the chassis of the van and then I've got a stitch piece on the front and this is going to be our decking we have uprights I've got seven uprights of a 3b3 4b4 for the corners and then we've got an upper deck so the, up, the purpose of the uprights is it'll carry the the roof section so we're gonna have an overhang and finally somewhere to put our shoes and things like that people have made like a wood burning deck area on the front the fella in Scotland that's who I've been watching Rebecca knows his name I'm sure she might put his name somewhere down the bottom but he's great he did it so I'm copying his method um, making it up a bit as we go along but so far so good but I better get cracking because we only have so much sunlight and we are going out in no watch about an hour a bit misty this morning a bit misty well that's where Sam got up to yesterday a few adjustments I think need doing today but uh, lovely it's gonna be a nice day today I think But this mist has to burn off first. So I am off now. You can hear my pal shouting me from down the lane. I've not been up yet to see him. So I'm gonna go 
and see him now. I just love walking the lanes around the house. So peaceful in the morning, especially on a Sunday morning like today. And all you can hear is the animals. And that's who, that's, I'm on my way to see one of them. <laughs> and he's just the best, he really is. He's so cute. Don't know if you can see that. But another derelict house that we pass. I do know who used to live in that house and I know who owns it. But this is this this is a sad thing that so many people left and these places are just abandoned and let the well nature takes over. So I don't actually know the name of this donkey or who owns him. Actually I don't even know if definitely a male, I think he is. But I've called him Toby. So I'm gonna give him a shout. He's there somewhere in the field. I hope he comes over. Toby! Toby! Ah, oh, here he comes. <laughs> I know that they, donkeys don't like being alone and but he's not my donkey, I don't know who owns him and it's not for me to say I don't know the background of this donkey so um, before everyone starts on giving me I know it, I know, I know he shouldn't be on his own but he seems to be okay and he always comes over, bless him, for a bit of a pat here he comes how are you doing today? huh? Oh, you're a good boy. How are you doing? Bit cold last night, wasn't it? Oh. I'll see you later. Yeah? I'll come back later. I know. Bye, Tobed. <laughs> oh, I always feel so bad leaving him. He's such a cutie. Today's job, while Sam's at work for me, he didn't ask me to do it, but I'm going to try. It's to try and start clearing the ivy off these trees and the hopes that next year we'll be able to see which ones are alive which ones aren't we we're going to chop some down this year but I want to see what happens there's lichen growing on some of those trees which is pretty amazing because according to B that means that the air is really clean here so that's good good news so yeah, I'm going to get cracking. halfway down that tree line you can see 
the actual trunks of the trees now. I mean, I know I haven't got all the way to the top, but I've gone as high as I can. And some of the branches that I've, I mean, look at the size of that, of the ivy. <laughs> I mean, it's nearly as thick as the actual trunk of the tree. So I've done what I can. Hopefully you can see a difference over there from where I've done it to this half of the centre dividing tree line where I haven't been yet. Now my mum who is a gardener deals with trees did say to me that it will still continue to thrive up there at the top potentially so living off the tree we'll have to just see but I can't get up that high obviously um, without ladders and I'm not really keen to do it especially with Sam not being here I'm on my own so I'm just doing as sort of high as I can reach but yeah Hopefully though, it will do do something, help the trees not be so swamped by the ivy, which is a real problem on all of them. And some of these trees, sadly, I know we've mentioned it, are dead, I think, from looking at them when we were here in the summer. But I think it's too much of a, we're not going to chop anything down just yet. We're going to give it another year of watching the trees and see how they get on and then make a decision but some of these at the back don't look great so i've got a lot <laughs> a lot to be working on um but yeah i'll get there just do a bit every day morning so today it is raining a little bit today so um, i am going to do some timber work outside put my marquee up and do what i can try and get these corner posts footed correctly so and other diesel heater has come the one with the four manifolds so we are going to well, i'm going to crack on getting that fitted today and it's actually going to be piped into isabella's room into ewan's room into our room and then into the corridor at the back so we'll have four little 42 mil pipes this is our diesel heater that we got off david so basically we just that gets jubilee onto there and then you can sort of you know, point that into the front room or the bedroom here. It's been a lifesaver. But now we have another one. So I'm just, it's exactly the same fitting. Hole for the exhaust. It's a bit bigger than the, the outlet. Which I'll grab. Yeah, it's sort of, obviously, I use this as a, I have the exhaust that goes through, but I use this, this as a sleeve through there. And then we can see the gaps, but that gets filled with a uh, fire foam around there's a little hole there for my uh, wire for the 12 volt fitting to the bluetti so there's going to be four stems come off this basically they just get clipped on so i'm going to have one into this wall that's uh, into boo's room and then we'll have one going straight through into ewan's room and then i'm going to create something up and round Similar to the hose part, similar to that, but that'll go into our bedroom. But if we can just get the uh, the fittings, they are here. Nice little things. So that'll just sort of, if we go into Boo Boo's room here. It's just gonna go on the wall, you see there. And they do spin around so you can direct the, the blow. Um, but we did a little test run the other day in Ewan's room and it was like a sauna, so it's great definitely lots of heat um, but yeah easy piece these diesel heaters so let's uh, let's get on with it so I also said I was going to talk about the things that we found so far uh, there's going to be probably other things that we find because we've not even cleared this bit out properly yet um, but yeah I thought I'd just give you a little show of the well, I'd say they're pretty old things. Some of them that we found really interesting. Some of them have been on previous previous videos, but some haven't. So to sort of give you a little show round of it. So obviously that has been, I think, possibly on previous video. The old scythe, 
which just fascinates me. How they just drove loads of nails in. <laughs> yeah. Scary looking tool, but did its job. And these baskets, which I presume were for hay, for horses, donkeys, whatever they they had here as fluffies. And you've got the old rope still that they hung them with. I love those. One of my favourite things that we found. And then here was the heart, part of a harness, apparently, as one says. It makes sense. It's leather. Peapots. An old belt. It's weird to think who would have worn that. A few tools. And that was horse grooming stuff, maybe. I'm not sure. And that would have been, I guess, to smooth when they were rendering and various bits of metal tools the nails always fascinate me how big they are and then some old beard trimmers beard trimmers even <laughs> bottles still with their corks in tons of them some most without corks but then there's their pocket watch holder which is possibly bronze or brass can't tell because it's so oxidized but you can see a little bit of the gold color underneath just up here you can see it a little bit and then of course the boots the little kid one the baby baby shoe the adult one and then of course we've got the huge amount of scrap metal that we found along the way with those huge wheels they're underneath there we're going to keep those wheels for something or other lots of little bits of metal and tons of horseshoes, obviously. So yeah, loads of stuff that we've found so far. And like I said, I've not even cleared out the main, well, not the main barn, but part of the barn. Still got tons of rubbish in there. We haven't got around to that yet. I've been so focused on trying to get the static warm. We've had to stop everything for a while. So now there's no roof, I can walk in here quite safely. But it's just tons of tiles. It smells vinegar in here. Very strange, like pickling vinegar smell. Oh, that is. I was hoping I'd find a clay pipe, but I've not come across one yet. A little birdhouse propped up there. I'll get that around at some point. Remnants of some other kind of basket. It's very strong here. It's very strange. I've never smelt that before. Oh, that might be why I can smell it. Look at that. Is that a stink horn? That's a stink horn mushroom. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's a smell of like vinegar. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look very nice, does it? I'm gonna have to research that. But there's a very strong smell here of like pickling vinegar. It's like really strong. Mm. I have to look that one up. Look, looks really gross. I won't even say what it looks like. <laughs> oh. I'm not even gonna say I know you're all thinking it like me but I'm not gonna say what I think that looks like it's pretty gross isn't it <laughs> so yeah this is the look at that window this is the plan is for this to be eventually 
our bedroom sam and i it's a bedroom with kind of like a ensuite of some description but just that window i just absolutely love it i hope we can hang on to it and have such a lovely window in there like the lighting because there isn't any windows on this side although no there isn't but two big sort of doorways on each side so the plan is in the morning i'll be able to step out of my door of my bedroom into this courtyard area which is going to be walled um, and the views are just gorgeous over there and the sunrise comes from that way and hopefully that will be <laughs> not looking quite as bad as it does now um yeah in fact if anyone's interested i have done some drawings now listen these are drawings done by me i'm not a, an artist but i did do a drawing of how i envisage this place to be in in you know if uh, in the future as long as money doesn't become problem before then so um i've put that on we started a patreon page um never done that kind of thing before um but on it i will i post a few things sometimes i put pictures of the kittens on it videos of the kittens um i put that picture <laughs> I'm really bad drawings on it please don't judge me and the perspective is not great either but I have sometimes I like to draw things down it keeps me focused on what my vision is for the place anyway yeah it's on there but don't judge me um what else is on there uh I can't even remember oh tour around the static when we first bought it anyway anyway if you're interested in hearing more stuff than you know what you see on youtube uh, feel free to join up to patreon and i try and put the stuff on there a bit more frequently anyway it's an option don't have to do anything you don't want to do just putting it out there um but yeah i'm gonna have to go and research that thing i've got a book of mushrooms so i'm gonna go and have a little nosy and see if it is what i think it is and uh, yeah, let's see what Sam's getting up to on the uh, diesel heater. So we've made a start putting some of the frame up and this area will obviously be decked and hopefully covered by a canopy and I cannot wait so that I can put my wellies outside. I was just telling them what you've been up to out here. And we've only got uh, the sharp bit at the top of the post. That was only because that's how they sent it to you. Didn't you? you were a bit miffed, weren't oh, yeah, you? Like a big pen. Well, not miffed. <laughs> I did. I did actually go back down to the timber yard and say you had to order them in. You see, and they just said, "Look, I don't need it like a big pencil. Can you not just give me a ten-foot post and just don't do it like that?" So I can we still get do, around it. Made do with it, haven't we? Yeah, because that gets lobbed off anyway. So it's no biggie to me. It'll be great when it's done. We're just doing the proper wiring for the. Um, putting a 12 volt plug on the diesel heater so as soon as that's done and it's ducted in the main thing is to keep it warm inside for the kids and the wife and and me <laughs> and then it can carry on so it's only early there's plenty of daylight left today so plan to get the rest of this you want to get that corner post up and the big post so if we can get the corner posts up or the pads in position um i'm onto a winner because the rest is just four by two um and then we're going to get some insulation aren't yeah. we yeah i've just been having a bit of a cheeky chat down there with the uh, local building merchant because now we've got our air code come this morning yay so i went back in and said had to, to fight him, for that by the way guys he said oh it's the boss easy. isn't here at the minute and i said well listen i've heard around here that for your first order you get 25 percent off and he went what and i went they listen that's word on the street and i found you know you've just got to be cheeky with people <laughs> you know and have a laugh and have a crack with people especially opening new trade uh, trade accounts i don't want credit Nope, no I want twenty five percent off my first order because then I'll just order everything. So we were going to use what's that king? What's that insulation that you wanted? Sealatex Kingspan. But it's so expensive; Rent like it's going to be like nearly a grand to insulate the. It's band, a grand. It? It's a thousand euros for the. So that's just too much to wrap this, and that's only two inch. Yeah. You so start looking now, into three inch, then you're looking a bit more. So. What we were now thinking of? Are we using rock wool? Rock wool because it's one hundred and fifty. We quid. were going to use <laughs> sheep's wool, and then as we did a bit more research. You know and you need to be treating that stuff with borax and apparently a lot of people don't use that or soda crystals it's to it's to clean the sheep's wool so that you don't get infestations of beetles and especially moths apparently they love it so 
It's a good job we did some research and we, we did see another couple that are doing this. Yeah, the Corner House Project. Hi, guys. They put, I think it might have been them, I don't know. But yeah, it they, was them. They, they put their sheep's wool in, the, in a tongue no. bag and put it in the waterfall. Oh, no. And I'm talking it. about someone else. <laughs> no. I meant the Corner House Project. They ordered some sheep's wool. I sent you the link. Yeah, you can order it. It's um, a little bit about the same as the You can get wool. sheep's wool slab that you can do this yeah, with. Yeah, that was it. No, it's not the same. It's three times the amount. So, yeah, I mean... So, but Rockwell seems the most cheapest and... Although it's the messiest. No. It's messy. No, because it's 11 metres long, so we've got two metres. Do you not do, to do it on a dry day, meters, though? And then... Well, yeah. It, has to, to be, it has to be Rockwell and breather membraned in one day so that you can stand half a chance of uh, keeping it dry. So, Which is fine, because I'm going to do the roof first, breather membrane it, and then fly batten it, ready for the tin sheets. Yeah. So, and I get a roof to cover over so all the wellies can stay outside. Yeah. That's Hooray! Oh, did break then. <laughs> Hello, B. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'll let you get on. So we're gonna. Yeah. Go well, Andy's Andy's actually gonna help me with the flu. Um, it's always two minds are better than one, and he's done it before. So where I'll, would we uh, be without neighbours, eh? I know. I will. I will trust his just his judgment yeah. on it. I've got a rough idea, but you, you can't help getting that extra bit of help of someone that's done it before and yeah. knows about fire. So We'll get there. It'll come. It's quick. So hopefully it's way, next it's week, way. well, the next week's video, you never know. Well, I'm going to be <laughs> no pressure. four days here. I've got my marquee up, so yeah. if it does rain, I can have my chop saw under there. Mm -hmm. I can still keep going in the rain. Um, it's yep. just heavy, heavy rain. It just starts to eat into the soul. Seems all right at the minute, though. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. And then once this temporary living bit's done, then we can concentrate on pointing. Yes. Yes. Mm. The lime. Oh, and we were going to ask people's opinion, weren't we? Mm. Let's go over. So, yeah, we need opinions on the barn, the house, the structure, because it's a kind of a bulge on it. <laughs> and we kind of want to know what people's thoughts are, if you really know what you're talking about, not just people's opinion. We want people that have done this before, um, who've got real good knowledge in that kind of stuff. We are we are going to get someone to come out and look, but just thought I'd put it out there because there's so many people that watch now. You know, do we need to take this wall down, or will it be okay once we've re uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Repointed. Got the word wrong. Repointed. And rendered or are we fighting a battle here which means we're gonna to have to take some of the stonework down well jerry i think uh jerry's gonna come up at some point jerry and maria who's helping us with the fire um and he's gonna he's a been bricky all of his life and stonemason so he's gonna advise me um on what to do because i do need some masonry help with you know someone that's been in the game for forever and jerry seems like he's a knowledgeable man well um, if you look at it like this down the way oh, from the edge boom Deserve. that's some bulge that uh, it doesn't look so bad right now but yeah but you can see it on the soffit see how it's about nine inch and then in the middle it's yeah, nothing there's nothing left so of you it. can see the bulge it's <laughs> you've got the old trusses inside the trusses that are inside that are like 12 inch log here that goes up that's holding the thatch there's a section of thatch from like there maybe three four five meters up that way i think it's five meters so that's it. there's no collar tie so it's just spreading like this so but once we take that down it'll take the pressure off takes the pressure off the building and there's a big crack obviously well there's cracks well, everywhere well there's cracks everywhere yeah there is but we're going to use um, you know like wall plate straps and mm. then all the cracks i'm just gonna you know obviously fill them but take the pressure off the building and then restraint strap the whole goddamn thing up corner it up make it as strong as possible obviously these are going new lintels concrete sort of you know six before lintels in there probably you know a double on both so yeah. the sills i don't know i've seen i've seen like an, an aluminium that you can get that goes over this so you don't necessarily need to take the sill out uh, gabriel our farmer friend down the road said it done 10 years ago and it still looks like it was done yesterday so bumps and weaves and cracks and bulges are all part of it. Yeah, and I kind of like that it's a bit quirky. And I even thought maybe just a massive buttress, <laughs> like from here to like eight foot out. But that's going to kind of ruin my plans for the, the the glass house outside, you know. 
it's with a giant basket, buttress so. in it. Well, it's better that hold the building up then. Well, yeah, true. And what about? I mean, people. Someone mentioned that this. This is going. This is, is. It could be actually holding the whole thing up. Well, the Frenchman, the Frenchman that came. We had a fam French family came, and he was an engineer, and he seemed to think. Well, he had done. He had done like an old cottage before. Mm. So he said a buttress would only be a temporary measure. He said, really, you know. I've done needling before on properties um, where we've had to haul two floors up above, you know, while we put RSJs in and stuff like that. So there's potential of a goalpost of RSJs to go in here, you know, and uh, build up from there, basically. So it's, so it's straight, plumb. Yeah. But I need to crack on. Yeah, okay, I won't, I won't hold you up anymore. I don't know. I don't know. So you were putting a 12 volt plug on something else come back to me this is what happens when you get to middle age isn't it <laughs> or is that just sam or me this is what happens when you don't have an hour one. Oh, jesus the bike when have you got time when has he got time to go out and motorbike in the minute? where are we gonna find the money for this motorbike we have a bloody place to renovate oh um, i don't know what i'm doing now either one oh yeah i know i was gonna go and check out what that fungi or mushroom is i don't think it's a mushroom i think it's a fungi i'm gonna go and have a look right if you go in here go in there and see see if you can smell this lentil needs changing as well look oh, at yeah. that but dodge <laughs> smell can you smell like pickled onions you can see some more work i'm a madman yeah um no look around here go in that cupboard in the cupboard yeah. The cupboard is not there anymore. Can you not smell it here? How can you not smell that? Oh, I can smell it now. Can you smell it? Yeah. Look at that down there. Holy Jesus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, that's going to make you trip to Mars and back that. I don't even it? know. <laughs> I think oh it's my. a stink horn. Look at that. I know. That's a beast. It's a stink horn. Oh, don't. don't oh. Whoa. <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> hey! I know right. I'm being really childish. I've never seen one. Oh my god. Can you smell it? Does it does stink. Jesus. <laughs> I've got to the kids. Uh, We've got to show the kids that, haven't yeah. we? <laughs> no, actually, no, don't show the oh, kids. Oh, we have that. to show the no. kids. No. Isabella's going to come It looks like up. a phallus. <laughs> it's, oh. it's edible. Shall I cook it up for your tea? stink horn and this the egg stage before it smells can be eaten said to be an aphrodisiac oh no quick let's eat it <laughs> so where the old diesel heater is this one which you can go back to david i did obviously the hole in the floor i had going through i actually kept the bit so i've put some sticky and then we'll just drop that in there there we go and even kept the little bit of underlay and carpet to just patch in. And then, this is not pretty, but <laughs> this is our other one. So as you can see, it's like, a, this one will just do the hallway here. This one. <laughs> I was going to get some other proper brackets and we can actually bring that up across the ceiling. And I can put, you know, a vent then into our, into our boudoir. But it's uh, all ducted in properly. It's even got a heat sleeve on there and that's fire foam cable up to the 12 volt to the Bluetti. You can see it from a Newman's room how it actually... You can just flip the uh, light on. So the quite pretty. It's just, yeah. And it's got like a, a special metal insulation, you know, because these walls are only ply. They get warm, but... I don't know if you can see it sort of there that sort of encases it all properly but it's time I think <laughs> for the big switch on right fingers crossed that it's gonna work <laughs> I think the exhaust is done right it's all tied in fire foamed everywhere let's try it oh no what? it's not working Oh. And perhaps yeah. they press it hard enough. It's come hard. 
There's a little LCD screen. Takes a couple of minutes to start up, but I'm pretty sure we're all going to be warm tonight. Yes, it has taken all day. Is it working? It's sucking diesel, so. Fingers crossed. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this week. Um, it's pouring down, but then we've got a lovely sunset going on behind, as well as the lamp on because it's dark. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this week. So we will catch you next week. Hopefully, maybe the stove fitted, maybe a bit more cladding done, insulation done. Fingers crossed. So see you next week. Bye.